I'm Raina Terror and we're in East London today. I'm here to meet a fellow called Magnus to get my brown star turned into a bronzed ornament. I do like it, trying to experience new things, even if they're weird things. I don't want to get older and regret not getting my butt bronzed. <laughs> Hello. Raina, you must be Raina. Magnus. Welcome nice to, to meet you. Raina Central. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my partner, Mike. Hi, Raina. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Assisting me while we um, do a cast of your, um, your English. Oh, thanks. Yes, I think. I came up with the idea, I don't know where from, but that a sculpture of an anus should be made in chocolate. It just seemed to make some sort of poetic sense. We first started selling edible anuses um, 10 to 15 years ago, 15 years ago. We'll cover you up so that just your anus is showing, right? <laughs> what they actually are is a very small sculpture based on the cast of an, a real anus. We've got this as well in case it gets messy. I, I wear this sometimes. So, you know, if you see me with this and flippers on, you'll know it's probably gone a bit wrong. Serious. Yeah. Having made chocolate anuses now for a fair while, we've moved into the more permanent anuses uh, made of cast in metal or glass. Try to get changed then. Yes, behind the screen, please. Okay. And these are available to anybody who wants their own anus cast or a copy of someone else's anus. What was that film? I think it was something like um, Candy, where this mad surgeon does an operation and it's full of... It. He stands there with his finger on a man's brain. Do you know that film? It's fantastic. Oh my God. Ha ah, ha! And everybody claps. Right, I'm ready. Bring in the patient. In terms of the casting process of the anus, I think, in general, individuals are a little bit worried. Right, you know the position. Strike it up, get comfortable, that's the main thing, get comfortable. Get comfortable. My experience is that people who have had a, a casting don't find it very difficult. That's it, knees that's back sufficient. there. That's good, that's good. Um, stay where you are, I'm gonna move this. And fairly quickly, their, their, their concerns disappear and um, it can be quite an enjoyable occasion. This is the weirdest yoga position ever. You haven't moved too much, no? Yes, you have moved. Sorry. That's it, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Save me. So there you are, it's got to go up before it comes back. <laughs> it's a little bit of an event and I think it's something that you might you know, the person who's being cast may remember for a long while, you know, in your old folks home, you can turn to some wizened person next to you and talk about your anus casting. i uh, be fairly sure that he or she has never had that experience. Pull your butt apart a little bit. Pull your cheeks apart. Okay. Go for it. Stay <laughs> closer together. No, no. <laughs> when you laugh, it changes shape. <laughs> That's good. The well, first time I ever tried to do a cast of an anus, I tried to do my own. And um, I had to wait until my missus had gone out and my son had gone to school. And I went in the kitchen and I mixed up the alginate and I poured it into my bum. Well, you know, I took my trousers off and put my knees either side of me head, poured this stuff in my bum and it all ran past me nuts into my face. Don't move anything there. <laughs> yeah, I know, it feels great, doesn't it? <laughs> There were some interesting failures on the way. <laughs> you can't get it out your pubic hairs. It sets. It's horrible. Anyhow, can Yeah, but the thing is, you can't mix it with warm stuff. If you mix it with warm water, it goes off far too quickly. Now, I'm just, what I'm doing is just sort of making sure it, it <laughs> gets in there. That's it. You keep pulling your bum apart. That's good. That's it. That, that. <laughs> Read your fortune in it later if you want. Oh yes, <laughs> yes please. Yeah. Okay, now that's going to come out in one lump very soon. Don't move. I'll peel it out now. Stay where you are. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
Nu kan jeg. Nu, nu, nu. Dream anus is gone. I don't know, really. Can I see my designer anus now? Oh, hey you. Patrick Moore would have been good, but he's dead. Perhaps Patrick Moore's dead anus. That would be my dream anus. The anus of a fat corpse like Patrick Moore. It'd be marvellous. It'd be like a star, wouldn't it? And he liked the stars. He liked that sort of nebula stuff. He could make them in um, something luminous and you can put them on your ceiling. And that would be a real tribute to Patrick Moore, I think. Something like that. Nice and hard. And although it's still damp, it's as hard as it will ever be. So this is the time to take it apart and see what we've got. Yeah, that's really, it's the moment of revelation. That's in the Bible, isn't it? See, this is how it came out of you. That's what your bum looks like, except for that little knob. You haven't got a little knob. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Mike would now turn these into the uh, finished item. We'll send it to the, the foundry, and you will have a bronze cast of it, of your own anus. <laughs> Yay! I've always wanted one. I'm pleased you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's four weeks since I saw my bum chum, Magnus, and I just got this. It's my bronze brown star. <laughs> and I'm gonna display it on my mantelpiece. I tell you what they're good for, chopstick holders, because they got that dent in them, and if you, you can put your chopsticks in them, with the right sort of Chinese restaurant, we could sell loads of them. Coffee cups, we thought about putting one in the bottom of a coffee cup so that when you've drunk your coffee, it's just in there looking at you.